Hey everyone, it's Lorena here. So listen, I was given this topic and I was pondering, like I have to talk about a, a time where, you know, I was going through something and I had to overcome it. Um, something that was, you know, detrimental to my life or detrimental to my character and I have to overcome it. And when I thought about the topic, I was like, baby, <laughs> Which one do I choose? Which which time did I have to go through something where I had to overcome it? Like, for real, for real. I'm 40 years old. I've been here four decades. Trust me, I've been married twice. So, yeah, a sister been through some things. But you know what I decided to talk about? Not one particular person or one particular thing. Because I don't want to give my... I was telling my friend about it. And I was like, you know what? You're right. I shouldn't give one particular person just like to let them know. But in terms of one particular spirit. And so for me, it was like, you know, I kept dating the same type of person, even though they would come from different places or, you know, different income situations or whatever. It was the same type of person, right? So it was like, hmm, these relationships were either emotionally, financially, physically, or just, just damaging, abusive, just any type of abuse where you can think of because, you know, it was me attracting that type of person. And so for me, it was like, you know, I'm tired of having these, these relationships. I'm tired of, you know, setting my heart out and thinking that I'm in love with this person and they love me and we're going to have the best relationship. I'm tired of that. I can't keep doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting different results, especially when I'm ignoring red flags blatantly, right? So for me, it was like this, okay? In order for me to overcome this person or this relationship, I have to look deep into myself and say, what about me is attracting these type of relationships? Like for real, what about me was attracting somebody that was cheating or somebody that was verbally abusive or somebody think they can get into my face and act crazy or somebody that's married and you know they trying to date me on the side what about me was attracting this right so i had to be honest with myself and i had to say you know realistically it's me settling and also it's me not loving myself so the way that i overcame it was i started to have a real relationship with myself and i was true to myself and i did shadow work you know i really looked into myself and said what about me put me in a position to think that this is okay because it's not you know and so for me you know i had to forgive myself i had to forgive myself for being vulnerable in those situations i had to forgive myself you know for for just giving all or or thinking that I was in love too soon. Because realistically, you know, when I think about love and unconditional love, I really didn't even love those people. So why was I going through that? But I had to do shadow work and I had to talk to myself and I had to be honest with myself and I had to stop ignoring red flags. And I had to also love myself a little bit better. Now, loving yourself is not going to get your hair done, your nails done, you know, getting the surgery or, you know, get working out every day or the external things, that's not loving yourself, right? Even though, you know, that can be confidence, but loving yourself is doing what's best for you, not best for the other person. And so for me, I had to do spirit work. You know, I had to meditate. I had to really be honest with myself. I had to really say to myself, if I say that I want this, then I have to walk in that way. And I will not settle. You know, I, I, I would not settle. I'd rather be alone than be that person, you know? And so for me, the way that I, I overcame these relationships that were all of these seemingly bad things, I had to look at myself and see what position I played to allow this to happen to me. Because we can only let what we want allowed to us or be allowed to us. So if someone is verbally abusive or financially abusive or physically abusive, you have allowed that. And so I had to be honest with myself. I allowed that, you know? And so like they say, you know, first time shame on you, two time shame on me, three times I'm out of here, you know? And so for me, I was honest with myself. I took time to really love myself. I took time to remove, remove layers of myself and I became happy with myself. So now, you know, when I meet a man, um, I look at the traits 
and I'm honest with myself. I'm not going to paint a different picture and I know how it plays out. I'm 40. So realistically, you know, if you think about life and you think, not saying that I, I use my past, but I'm a little bit wiser. I know how to play things a little bit better because I love myself first and I'm not so desperate for attention or desperate for someone to be in my presence that I will jeopardize my own self-worth, my own self-confidence, and my own mental happiness. So, you know, hopefully you resonate with this. This is something that I overcame. Um, I'm, I'm sure that I'll have more time to be more in-depth about what I actually did as far as meditations and different books I read and just different things that I did for myself at a later date. But I just want to give you a little, a little quick minute of something that really could have destroyed me, but I overcame it. So stay tuned for more. It's Serena. I'm out. Peace.